What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Ruin a Randoma. Um, today we're playing with a a BPL team, shock horror, um, but I've got a few things to talk about in this episode and this team as well, um, but we're going to go through the team. So we've got Joe Hart in goal, we've got Johnson, Company, uh, Davi Luis and Clichy, uh, then we've got Gerard and Yolo Torre, um, I'll explain that as well in, in a in later on. Uh, we've got Sessegnon, uh, Tarapt, uh, Kazola, and Mayuka. Now these four dudes up front have all got um, five star weak foot. Uh, Torre there has four star weak foot. Gerard only has three star weak foot. Um, and yeah, so the bench is also pretty tank. Still got all these blue players. Obviously no Messi or Ronaldo yet. I have got over a million coins still though, like 1.1 million. And uh, the way I got those, uh, and I've actually been asked a lot uh, recently. I was live streaming with Cal Freezy at um, like two o'clock in the morning a few days ago, and I got these, all these informs in one pack, and like it wasn't even a pack that I opened. It was just a pack, you know. I was just like, I, I left Ultimate Team to try and refresh it because I, I wasn't getting a game. And when I went back into Ultimate Team, the uh, this guy's got a very very strong team. He's got Kelvin, Wallison, and Neymar up front. Inform Ronaldinho, Carlos Eduardo, and uh, who's that guy? That that centre midfielder. I know who he is because he had the inform as a bronze goalkeeper because he made a save. Then he's got Danilo Santana, Dede, the centre back, and Maxwell at left back. And uh, I think I can't remember who the goalkeeper was there. I didn't get to see him in time. But that's a strong Brazilian team. Um, but yeah, so let me tell you about this live stream. So I was live streaming with Cal Freezy and, I, and I left Ultimate Team to go back in. And as I went back in, I had these 50 cards just there. And, like I had uh, three inform. Um, inform Lucas's. I had two inform, uh, two inform of someone else. Uh, I had who was it? Inla. I had two inform Inlas. Uh, I had inform Pepe. I had like a whole bunch of other stuff, and and I was like, what is this? Like, I don't understand what this is. I don't know where this is coming from. And people were going nuts for it. You know, of, of course you would. Like, it was it was interesting as shit. And here goes my Yuka. We got that post. We got that near post. OP. Boom. He's going to score there every single time. Thank you very much for the golasso. And uh, so, yeah, I put all those stuff in the tray pile. And Calfreeze was like, dude, like, exit all my team and go back in again and have a look to see if you get some more stuff. And I was like, hmm, let's do that. So I did. I exited. And I went back in. And I got another 50 cards. And I'm like, damn, where's this coming from? And I couldn't figure it out until, like, eventually I figured it out. And you remember when I got my account reset, guys? All right, so my account got reset from Origin. Nothing to do with FIFA, nothing to do with EA per se. Um, but Origin, the company that ha holds all the information for everything you do with EA games. So like Battlefield. Um, oh, that was nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that was a great save, Joe Hot. Um, you know, Battlefield, uh, uh, NBA, NBA games, e NHL games, any EA sports games. If your Origin account got reset, all of these things got reset. Oh, I'm, I can do skills too, brah. Oh, and then he's through. And look at that. Look at the... Oh, Santi Cazola. Oh, Santi Cazola. And then Gerard's there. And this guy's like, oh, I got you. And I'm like, nah, son. And he's like, nah, I have actually. And I'm like, all right, full. cool, cool, cool. And then there's Torre. Boom. Oh, my God, that nearly went in. Um, Yeah, and, and I got some more stuff again out of this. Yeah, so anyway, I got reset from Origin. And it's basically them paying me everything back that I lost, you know, Um. To, to the value that they, I guess, think is acceptable. Um, and I was getting like 4-1-2-1-2 cards and um, like 4-4-2 four, four, cards and good players and players worth like 10-15k and informs. And then and then I went and got like uh, Nani and Di Natale and um, just had, you know, had a great time getting all these stuff back. And like it's, it's nice that EA have, have given me my stuff back, you know. Um, I genuinely didn't think I would get it. Um, I didn't think I'd get all of it back, but they gave me so much stuff back in the end. So like, they gave me like um, 15 free gold packs uh, when I first got reset to I don't know why, as as they were trying to figure stuff out, I guess. Um, and uh, I opened; they were only 5k packs, and I opened those and was a bit disappointed with the stuff that I got. Um, oh, oh, that's a power. F oh, come on. Um, and uh, they also gave me like some coins, like 100,000 coins or so. And I was just kind of like, meh, not really. Oh, that's gone in, surely. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, yes. Company. Near post OP, mate. Near post OP. Near post OP. Near post OP. That's my new chant, mate. Near post OP. 
Um, but anyway, so I got that back and I was disappointed and w like myself and a few other guys from YouTube and I guess like people that were reset that aren't from YouTube were, were messaging a woman that worked for EA and kind of like explaining to her what we lost and if we got any proof and what we're going to get back. Oh, he's got me there. He's got me. Um, and I didn't really get a reply from her, but she asked me, would I like this, these things back in... Um, in uh, coins or in players and I was like well I would prefer the players back because I had some great players some great teams um, and yeah would generally oh he's got me wow Joe Hart is just making unbelievable saves um, and you know uh, you know the, pl the price of players at the time I was reset they were dropping because of team of the year and I didn't want to get coins for the value of those because I would have lost out whereas like if I wait till after team of the year I can get all my stuff back and you know maybe wait till the tr the market increases again and uh, sell them on for more or, or use them or whatever you know uh, whatever whatever I want to do and then Gerard's there like that and then Gerard is there like that kaboom what a fucking goal I didn't expect that to go in Gerard's just like you give me space I give you goal golasso thanks for coming out um and uh, yeah, and I thought that was it. So I asked for the players back and what they actually did, she gave me like, or like EA gave me like 600,000 coins back. And once again, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought, hey, I had way, way, way more stuff than this. And uh, was, yeah, wasn't really happy with what I had got there. But, um, oh, wow. Let's go. Yeah. Um, and then that day again, I you know I go in Ultimate Team and boom, like EA give me a crap ton of stuff back, and uh, that's my Yuka, and that's a lovely, lovely goal. Thirty minutes in, and this guy is taking a battering, and he doesn't really deserve it because he's had a few good ch good chances to score, but he just can't get them goals. And pars are us. Get pard, get pard. Um, and uh, so so I got all the stuff, all the free stuff out of these. Packs. I say packs. They were not really packs. It was just like cards given back to me. And um, I went and sold it all. Uh, I should have probably kept one or two of the Inform Lucases because uh, I actually really wanted to use him as a player. But it, obviously, it's not the PSG version because that doesn't exist. Um, it was the uh, the version where he was at the club in Liga do Brasil um, or wherever he was after that. Why don't you step inside? There we go. And outside. Boom. There we go. And back inside. Come back inside. Boom. Um, and yeah, I sold it all. So now I've got like 1.2 million coins and I've got all of these blue cards still from Team of the Year with exception of um, Messi and Ronaldo. Oh, hello. Somebody's been watching FIFA Rally. Um, and I really want either Messi or Ronaldo. You know, like I, I want to use them throughout FIFA rather than just have them for a game or so, which is what I've had them for so far. Um, so... As soon as I can get enough coins together, I was going to buy Messi and Ronaldo and everything would have been fine and all people would have been happy and... Oh, look, hello. We're at the far post there. Oh, wow. He's missed it. He's missed it. Um, but what I've got is I've got a whole bunch of players that I want to sell and I'm waiting for the prices to rise, right, for Ultimate, for the Team of the Years. And they're just not, especially for some of the players. You know, like Xabi Alonso, price isn't rising. Why? Obviously, he's not a sought-after player. You know, he's not one of those players that you think, "Oh, I'd love the uh, the team of the year, Xabi Alonso, in my team," because he's not even a player that many people use anyway. People like the uh, the flair of the attacking players. They don't like the uh, oh, hello. Um, oh, he's got one back at last. They don't like the uh, the defensive players, even if they're rated highly and stuff. You know, they they're just not into that sort of uh, that sort of thing. Um, and. Uh, Oh, come on. Come on, Nepo. Oh, wow. Cadola. Oh, yes. And then he's through. And then uh, Torre is here. And Torre's gone. Torre's away. And Torre goes through. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Torre, that's so bad. Um, and uh, so, yeah. So, I've got a lot of coins. That's, that's basically the story, which is what I wanted to tell you about how I got the coins. Um, too obvious, Sunshine. Too obvious. Um... Oh, later. Oh, crap. That was terrible. Um, so that's half time at 4-1. But that's how I got the coins. So that's why I've got like 1.1 million coins right now. And I've got all these blue players. But I really want Messi and Ronaldo. And this has been an interesting game. Like I said, it didn't deserve to be 4-0. And it doesn't deserve to be 4-1. He's had a, a lot of good opportunities. And um, <laughs> should have scored maybe a, an extra goal or two. But that Gerard goal. Damn. Oh, Hello. Um, 
so yeah, I mean that that was the story for that. So why did I call y Yaya Torre Yolo Torre? I was watching a video from someone, um, a small YouTuber. I can't remember by the name of. I, f I was just like, I was actually having a, a shit, and uh, I went on to my phone whilst taking a dump and um, just went to FIFA, like typed in FIFA 13, and just thought, let me just watch like a video of. It, like you know the first sort of video that comes out. oh ref where's the foul where's the foul um and i just i clicked on this video and this guy he was actually a relatively good commentator and um oh come on this guy i can feel him getting back in this game i can feel him getting back in this game and uh yeah so i was watching this guy's video and he was like he was he said in his video like you know you've got colo torre and this guy's called yaya torre how cool would have it been if his parents called him like Yolo Torre <laughs> you know so you get Yolo Torre and Colo Torre and uh, I thought that would have actually been cool and ever since then ever since I've heard that the name Yolo Torre has really stuck in my head um, and so now I just call him Yolo Torre all the time um, even like even when he shouldn't be called Yolo Torre because his name's not Yolo Torre oh gone no, no Tarapt. See, when I do that trick, when I do that skill combination, that's where you're supposed to do the skill move. Watch him flick it over his head. Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Let's go, Johnson. Oh, and then, and then Tarapt is there. Oh, and again, I'm tr I keep trying to do the Elastico chop, and it's just not working. But it doesn't matter because Cessignon, oh, that would have been a sick goal. Um, so, yeah, so that's why he's called Yolo Torre. Oh, David Luiz, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. All right, do do it to him. We'll take a corner out of that. But this has been an interesting game. Um, this team, so what I want to do, guys, is at the end, each each ruin random that I do, oh, what a save from that keeper. At the each... But yeah, at the end of each Ruin Randomer, I want you guys to pick the next team that I use for the next Ruin Randomer. Now, this can be good, bad, anything you want. Literally any kind of team you, you want to see me do. And uh, if you want to see me use a bronze team, just put a bronze team in. And basically, I want you guys to put like foothead links in the description. And this this relies requires a lot of um, a lot of interest from you guys because this it only works if you guys are interested. Put foothead links in. And uh, if for those people that, you know, everyone can make a team if they wish. And I want the other, everyone else to look at everyone's team. And basically, if you like the f team on Foothead, go and like it up on Foothead. And then ca call the team name, simply call the team name Nepenthes, right? And then when I go to Foothead before the next time I try and do a Ruin or Andama, um I'm going to just type in Nepenthes in Foothead and see which has got the most thumbs up in Foothead, if that makes sense. So the most liked Foothead team name called Nepenthes will get will be the team that I use. Now if you guys want to be trolls and do, you know, teams of goalkeepers or a team with zero chemistry or a team with um I don't know, uh team with all left backs or a you know, a regular team, a, a beast team, a great team, a bad team, anything you want, just put them in there and the the most liked one will be the one that gets the um Oh, has he scored there? He has. He's back in this. He's back in this. Yeah, the most liked video, the most liked uh, video, the most liked foothead team will be the one that I use. Now, like I said, you you guys can be trolls if you really want to, um, or you can be serious if you want to see a good game, if you want to see a funny game. You know, it's, it's entirely up to you people. Um, so I want to, I really want to just get you guys involved in this series a bit more. And that's the only way I can think of doing it because I could be like, oh, everyone recommend a team and put it in the comment section, but they just get drowned out, you know, so uh, that's going to be too hard. And there's Vincent Company wrapping this game up 5 0. Need to take a drink. Here we go. Still can't believe that Gerard goal, by the way. That was disgusting. Um. And and that's basically how it's going to go. And one other thing that I'm going to add to the end of the the Ruin Randomer videos now, right? And I stole this from Ethos Lab. And I want to talk about stealing ideas from people to better yourself in YouTube because uh, believe it or not, it's something that I do relatively regularly. Um, and it, not just me as well. It's it's something that a lot of every community does regularly. You see something that works on somebody else's video, why wouldn't you try it on your own video? You know that that's kind of my um. That's kind of my thoughts and reasoning behind that sort of thing. Um, 
Yeah, go on in. Go on in. Oh, ho, hello. Um, and at the end of every um, Ethos, every e end of every episode that Ethos Lab do does when he does um, his uh, Let's Plays, is he replies to a couple of comments from the comment section of the last video. Now, what I'm going to do is reply at the end of every episode that I do for Ruin Randoma. I'm going to tweet out. Um, uh, anybody got any questions about Ruin Randoma or about FIFA and basically ask, answer just two or three questions that really strike me as good and interesting questions at the end of every single um, every single episode basically so if you guys want to have your questions answered you've got to be following me on Twitter my Twitter is twitter.com slash Nepenthes of course um, and just uh, follow me on there and whenever you see me tweet out want to ask me some questions for the uh, Ruin Random video, go ahead. And then you obviously, you know, if your question gets answered, that, that would be awesome. But if, if you ask me like sensible questions, you've got a really, really better chance of getting them answered um, compared to if you just like troll and ask you stupid questions like, you know, do you even lift? Um, so that's pretty much that. And so I just want to, again, I just want to really engage with you guys a lot more. I want to make sure that you guys are getting the best out of me as much as I'm getting the best out. Oh, please, ref. He had more than enough time on the ball there. Um, compared to me getting the best out of you, you know, this guy is going to go for the scoop, um, the one-two scoop thing. I oh, know he's, he's just giving it to uh, Ronaldinho. This should be a goal. Ronaldinho's free kick's too good. Oh, Joe Hart. Well in, son. Well in. Um, a company scored two goals for me, hasn't he? He has. Let's see if we can get Vincent Compagnie, the Atrique. On Atrique. Let's go. Oh, Luis, get there. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Don't know what that... Oh, look at it. Mayuka's away, mate. Mayuka is away. You see that? That's using the radar. Look at that epic, epic kick out. And then Mayuka's gone. And then Mayuka's away. And then he puts the ball across the face of the goal. Oh, and then that was just like the worst cross ever. Oh, that's a great tackle, Clichy. And that's probably going to be the game there, guys. Um, thanks for the ball, man. Oh, Go in, go in. Oh, that would have been a nice goal. Um, so, yeah, this, this is the end of the game, guys. So I'm just going to, like, when we get to the match stats, I'm just going to pause the screen on the match stats and then I'll put the two two or three questions that I answer up on the screen through Twitter um, just to show you that I am getting asked questions and answered. Because one of the big things for me is that people say to me, um, you know, I don't, I don't reply to enough fans and stuff. And it, it is really hard when there's so many of you and I, I try to answer as many people as possible. But hopefully this is a way of me showing you that, hey, I, I actually do reply to as many people as possible. So we put the match details on there. Uh, it was a very even game. 5-2 is not a fair reflection of the scoreline. And that guy tried a lot of skills. And I'm very, very aware that if he played a bit more sweaty, it would have probably been a closer game. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and here are the questions. Okay guys, so the first question we've got is from Omar AZ or Omar Az and he says, he asks the question, why have you stopped playing with the 4-4-2? You used to use it quite a lot in FIFA 12, also what is your favourite formation? Now for me the 4-4-2 and the 4-3-2-1 in FIFA 11 were incredible formations, uh, they worked thoroughly, thoroughly well. And because of that, I used the 4-4-2 a lot in FIFA 12, even though it wasn't such a great formation. And in FIFA 12, the 3-5-2 was a phenomenal formation. Um, so that's why I kind of stopped using that, because the 4 4 isn't so effective. Now, in FIFA 13, my favourite formation, again, has to be the 3 5 2. It's, it's, for me, the best formation out there, uh, especially because the, the strength of the centre-backs is always key, and the fact that you have three of them is just incredible. Um, but I also really enjoy the 4 2 2 2 with the skilling team that I've got, because it's all very narrow, and they're very intricate kind of players, so that also works really well. So for me, the reason why I stopped playing the 4-4-2 is just because the formation is no longer any good. The next question we have, guys, is from Thomas, and he asks, what do you find the most useful slash effective skill move? Now, for me, there's quite a few, and it does depend on the situation, but all around, the most, the most useful skill move for me is actually the ball roll, which even a two-star skill player can do. It's super effective. It allows you to change the pace of the play and change the direction of the play almost instantly. But on top of that, there's a few other skill moves that are good. The running scoop turn, which is five-star skill move only, uh, is very, very good because, you again, you change the direction of the play whilst running at full speed. 
and the Ronaldo chop is also a very, very effective skill move. Now, the most effective skill move, probably, uh, which Air Japes FIFA uses a lot, is the body feint. You simply, you know, hold the skill button, you flick the trick stick in one direction, and then you hold the the running stick in that exact same direction, and you'll just do a body feint and then change, completely change direction, like by 45 or 90 degrees. Um, in one flick of the stick and I find that just phenomenal it really really opens up a whole bunch of extra opportunities the third and final question for this episode is from Faz or Faz Gaming HD and he asks me what is the best goal you've ever scored and your most memorable FIFA moment now as Sod's Law would have it the best goal I've ever scored I actually didn't record um, it was in FIFA 12 and it was with Tarapt and it was a skill goal that was just beyond incredible I can't really remember the way I did it the way I scored it because it hasn't been saved and it was a, a very long time ago but I just remember sitting there thinking I can't believe I haven't got this goal recorded I have scored a fair amount of really really good goals um, the the next best goal in my opinion that I've scored also intertwines with my most memorable FIFA moment and that's the Giovanni volley that I scored back in FIFA 11 that really put my channel out there um, and, and me as a skiller out there and it really got my name about the community and that's my most memorable FIFA moment just because it really changed the way my channel was and changed me as a YouTuber. Um, and for that, like, I ne I'll, ne I'll just never forget that. That goal kind of defined me. And as far as I can tell, and as far like, I looked long and hard when I scored that goal, nobody had ever scored the advanced rainbow flick to a volley before. I, I looked at loads of montages and stuff, and it had just it had never been done, and especially not from the range that I scored it from. And uh, to to end this video, I'm actually going to leave that clip in this video. So if you want to see that goal, it's going to come right about now. But first of all, guys, I just want to thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and uh, I will see you next time. Cheers. Now the referee, Sung Man Cho, is going to intervene as he made of this. And this is the situation in the game as far as fouls are concerned. They've got him to score here. Well, that's it. That's absolutely it. Well, they really have been rampant, there's no doubt about that. There is a danger here that this match is becoming uh, rather one-sided.